Hey guys, this is Dan with Transient Outdoorsman. I wanted to continue our boot conversation um, that we started not too long ago. Something really important. It's the early part of summer and some of you guys are going to the Arctic for sheep or caribou. Some of you are going, you know, in the western states for mule deer or, or, or archery elk. Um, so you have between what, six and ten weeks to get ready for this hunt. Um, and as you know, any kind of serious mountain boot, if it's a real mountain boot, does not break in overnight. Um, so if you're not already thinking about it and you need a pair of boots for this year, it's time to order those now. Um, not three weeks from now, not five weeks from now. You need to be hiking in those boots beforehand so that they get properly broken in. And just as importantly, so that your foot adapts to that new boot. Anyway, so what I have here, this just came in the mail at UPS today. I'm pretty pumped up about this, more excited about this package than any of the others I've received in quite a while. This is a pair of Lathrop & Sons Mountain Hunter boots. Um, I went through the process with them, starting with their 3D foot mapping system, and also their pre-consultation phone call, where they learn a lot about uh, what you need in a boot. So through, through all of that, they've uh, selected a pair of boots for me, created a custom pair of orthotic insoles for this boot and for my foot. And uh, I haven't seen this thing yet, so let's check it out. There you have it. All right, so in here we have a set of insoles. Some paperwork, receipt, and there they are. And uh, water repelling, Grangers. So anyway, my first impression of this boot, it smells really good. <laughs> um, it's not the lightest boot in the world. It's not the heaviest boot in the world by any means, but you can tell just by feeling it, it's gonna have a lot of torsional support without being really, really super stiff like you get with some of those mountaineering boots that have uh, carbon fiber um, shanks. Um, the eyelets have a ball bearing on them, it looks like. So the laces go through really nicely. And I'm assuming these are the custom, custom insoles. That is cool. Good heavy tread pattern on it, Vibram sole. Uh, one of the things that I see right off the bat that I can't say I've noticed on any other boots that I've been trying is real thick heavy rand, but what's interesting about it is it's beveled on the edge so that you get a nice thick beefy rubber rand without having a really sharp lip on it. It's really nicely, really nicely beveled. Um, you know, one of the things that's neat about this boot, oh yeah, it has event um, waterproof membrane. One of the things that's really neat about this boot as opposed to a lot of the ones on the market today is these are handmade in Italy. It's not a mass produced boot. Um, so what you're buying is what you're getting. There aren't gonna be any imperfections in stitching or leather cut or anything like this. This boot is their full leather. Um, they have the Mountain Hunter Elite, which is um, a little bit lower and also half synthetic, half leather. Um, I opted for the all leather option, um, not only because I, I like an all leather boot, but also because I like a little bit more height um, coming up behind my, my ankle, up my calf for stream crossings and that kind of thing. So anyway, first look at these, super, super impressed with them. They're even better quality than what I expected. And um, I'm excited to get on the phone with them over the next day or two and do my, um, do my post consultation with them where, and this is really important with a pair of boots like this. Um, you know, it sounds almost silly, but it's important when you first break these things in that you have them laced properly, they're gonna talk to you, talk with you about where do you feel pressure, if you feel pressure, um, that kind of thing. And, and you really wanna do that before you take these things out for your first hike. So after doing that, I'm gonna look forward to uh, 
putting some serious miles on these before uh, before I head to Alaska in August. Thanks for watching, guys.